Denmark. Oh, Denmark. You are next, Denmark, on my list. What's up, guys? <laughs> Geopolitical Simulator 4 Power and Revolution with our Germany playthrough. We're going after Denmark. I am kind of thinking about what I wanted to do. Um, <laughs> Denmark's going to feel the wrath of the German iron boot. There should be no reason that we can't get this through. We've got proof that Denmark's been up to no good. The only thing we can do at this point is seize Denmark, bring them into Germany, where they will not be able to commit terrible crimes um, because Germany is a place of innocence and truth and honesty. They'll be good German citizens. We won't have to worry about it, having any issues. So we're going to ask the Security Council to authorize military intervention against the country. Actually, we're going to provide proof first that Denmark has been very naughty. So we'll just go ahead and confirm that. We'll wait for the proof to go through. Evidence sufficient for sanctions. Yes. Yes. I would agree. I would agree so much. I'm going to ask. I need military authorization to go after Denmark. It is the only way. And it looks like we actually managed to destroy the communists. Ha ha. There's nothing. The only thing better than a communist is a dead communist. So this is good news. Good news to me. And I feel like a lot of these guys can be moved around, especially up north since we're going to be going to war with Denmark. So let's go ahead and start getting soldiers um, up here on the border. And some more military bases in the meantime can be dismantled. I just don't need this many. I'll keep the uh, Brandenburg military base. Some military bases in the center here I want to keep. I don't want to just have military bases on the outside because if those military bases fall, then obviously I'll have nothing in the center to really launch attacks from. But I just don't need like clumps of military bases. Like up here is a little ridiculous, actually. Now, we can probably do something about that. China discovered a t vaccine for leprosy. Paying off a little bit of our debt, a little bit of a growth there. It's nice. Unemployment figures stands at 6%, was 5%. That's probably Belarus kind of dragging us down a bit. But uh, we'll get there when we get there, I guess. Not a huge rush. And uh, do I have a terrorist organization in Belgium while I'm thinking about it? I do. So we're all set there. The Netherlands as well. Those are going to be my next countries. I've got my eyes on the prize. What else do we have? These two bases, I'm already dismantling one of them. So out of these four bases here, this one, let's see, these two, this one can go. But I won't eliminate any other bases here because they may be points where I need to defend myself if Sweden and Norway decide to get all frisky on me. Same with these mil these uh, air bases. I'll keep three of them. Because a lot of air bases is good. If you lose one, then you still have air support. So it's certainly not a bad thing. I think we've done a pretty good job of cleaning most of that stuff up. And yeah, we've even got all of the roadways. Now, have we unlocked anything else in terms of transportation? Yes, we do have the Hyperloop line now, which we didn't have before. Uh, so we construct construction of a high-speed train line. This is very expensive, but we could do one from Berlin to Potsdam and just kind of eventually turn all of these. You can see how pricey it is. And hit confirm. And it's going to cost like $2 billion. And it's going to take five months to build. So let's do that. Let's start building our first Hyperloop line. Eventually, I want to build a bunch of those. But it'll be cool to have that. I think it'll help. Does it? Is it indicated by anything? I don't think it is. I just want to know once it's built, we'll see if it's like something different. See, we get a good thing for that too. Here we go. Construction has begun. We could already draw some new conclusions. First of all, this is this this is good national tourism, which will benefit from this new infrastructure. Lastly, the cities chosen for train sec stations are really bad choices. There are greater need elsewhere, and this is sure to be criticized because you're a waste of public funds. Really? I figured that that would have been great. Eventually, I'm going to dismantle these highways and turn them all into hyperloops or something. 
the weaker highways that is, or the train the train lines I'll dismantle. So maybe that was a bad place for it. Can I dismantle it now? Do I get? It costs me money how to dismantle it if I want to. It'll be fine. I'll replace all the other trains with faster trains at some point. What do I have for our budget excess? Maybe I'll do it right now. We've got 136 billion. Screw it. Let's just spend a little bit more money. Let's get let's get wild. Let's uh let's dismantle this train line, which is gonna piss a lot of people off. But then we'll replace it with a hyperloop line. Um, so we'll do that. Uh, I didn't even vote against this, so I forgot. The resolution was rejected. Nine votes in favor of Sudan. Russia wanted to, but everybody else abstained. Jesus. Well, I thought we were going to war with Denmark. You gotta be kidding me. I'd like to congratulate you in person for your popularity. Wait a second. Where's my vote? I don't understand. First of all, I thought that I became a permanent member. No, it never went through or something. So I don't get the vote. All right, I'm going to try to become a, ask for to be a permanent member. I think that I should be a permanent member of the Security Council. And last time I didn't get it. That's right. I didn't get it last time because Russia voted against it. But this time they might vote for it because they just voted for that war. So Russia didn't like me before, but they're kind of lukewarm to me now. We could honestly get Russia to like us if they ended up having a natural disaster. Because then we can just throw money at it. But right now, it doesn't look like they have anything. Alright. But they've accepted my request, so that's good. We'll meet with you. Yada, yada, yada. China network... To, ah, our Chinese agents were arrested. That sucks. Yeah, so I think it's a good idea to, uh, to, to get rid of all of these trains and replace them with Hyperloop. So let's just keep it in mind as something we want to slowly do over time. And with that being the case, is there any other transport? Or is it just the Hyperloop? Yeah, just the Hyperloop. High-speed train, secondary highway, main highway. Yeah, so we got to get the Hyperloop moving along. Um, that's going to be pretty important. And maybe we'll up bike path some? Nah. I think what we need to do is work on money or I guess we'll work on dissolve, trying to get rid of the powers of parliament. Let's see if we can get that through. So you want uh, Parliament to have a consultative role with no real power. And if we take a look, the people don't like it. And oh no, they would have uh, they would have voted for it, but now they won't. What changed? What changed? But no motions of confidence. Was that the one I was thinking of? Yeah. Consultative role with no real power. That's going to be really hard to convince. Like we'll never convince 97%. Oh my God. Even if I change the length of Parliament's term, it'll never, it'll be impossible to get them to go for that. Changed. Uh, okay, did we build these yet? We got 10 of them. They love these. Why don't we build 10 more? Confirm that just to keep that moving. And then I'm going to have to raise taxes or something. Let's take a look here. Oh, what is this? What will happen? What did I break? The organization, which held a major forum in Durban with all the major players on climate, deplored the lack of solidarity among nations in the fight against global warming. Huh. Besides noting the poor results on the reduction of CO2. Whatever. The four We're fine. We're fine. Nuclear conflict. Climate refugees. All right. Good morning. Let's see what you got. Water supply networks. Average sale price. Average purchase price. You want to sell it to me. All right. How about like that? Mm, no. No. Yep, I'll do that. All right, and let's see if we can get rid of some fossil fuel. 
Am I building another plant, 3G plant? That I, yeah, I am building another one, and it is actually built. So with that being said, we should be looking pretty good on power. We have electricity surplus of 10 terawatts, if I'm reading that correctly. So I'm gonna dismantle 10 more of those. I haven't unlocked anything else yet, just the 3G nuclear, which I have the second one. Let's go ahead and build another 3G nuclear. We'll put it right here. Oh, the other one that must be someplace else because this is not a 3G nuclear. Is it in Belarus? Where is that? It must be in Belarus. They have a 3G nuclear plant here? Oh my God. No, they don't. Third generation nuclear power plants. Wait, they do, but it's not producing anything. Just dismantle that, I guess. No point in existing. It's costing me money and it's not doing anything. Oh, also people recommended that I take over the energy sector, which is probably a really good idea, especially nuclear energy. If I'm going to go with the, the 3G plants, I should nationalize them. Going to cost 20 billion, but it'll make us a lot of money in the long run. We still can't get it nationalized. Uh, it won't go through. And this is the issue I'm having is that... I can't get any of this to go through, which is why I want to dissolve the parliament's power. No. One week. All right, we're going to see if the UN makes me a permanent member of the Security Council, and then we'll go from there. We'll go for there what we're going to do. You know what? I'm going to try to get something through here. We are going to try to get tanks and armored vehicles, degree of nationalization, sector under control of the state. It's very close to passing. I can't do a referendum though. And I, I'll try to put it on a new reform and see what happens. <clears throat> tanks are us. Can we please get this through? Create the reform. It's going to cost $300 million. So right now, actually, it says it would go through. See, sometimes the game is kind of silly like that. Okay, so it will go through. So let's just, let's let them, let me put it this way. The poll isn't always an indicator of what's going to happen. Sometimes the parties debate and the AI is kind of silly and things still go through. So we'll see if that goes through. If I can get tanks, um, tanks are us through then we can start producing our own tanks and we can kind of go from there, which I think is going to be pretty important. We're just waiting for the career soldiers to build back up too, but I still would totally be down for a war with Denmark, which is why I want to become a permanent member on the Security Council. Then it'll be all about, about taxation. At some point, I'm going to raise everybody's wages a little bit too, or maybe I lower them. I guess it depends. What's inflation doing right now? It is going down a lot. We've been, um, we've been able to not only keep inflation low, but we've managed to actually lower it considerably from when I started the game, which is amazing, actually. And I'm not sure why I'm having such luck with that because inflation can always be a pain. 152 budget excess billion, that's good. I'll go. go ahead and accept that. How is research looking? The actual tree so we wanted to get the better nuclear plant they're still working on that how about military we're working on all next level stuff here yeah because i want to get these tanks and stuff probable outcome <gasps> look at that what's this german initiative request to obtain permanent member status of the security council guys we did it we've been accepted we are now officially a permanent member of the un security council that's gonna be huge Okay, probable outcome between 2024 and 2025, I should have these new tanks. Even with the new, even max out research is, or military, it's going to take that long. What else does it take to get me there? Does it takes military and industry? Industry. So we can probably raise industry the little bit there and spend the couple billion and that'll speed it up just a little bit more. The vote was held. Oh. 
the reform did Oh happen. my god, the, <clears throat> it didn't go through. I cannot believe that that did not go through. Oh my god, at least I am a permanent member now in the Security Council. There I am, permanent members, Germany. Okay, we're gonna provide proof that Denmark is a bunch of filthy scrubs, again. Evidence sufficient for sanctions, ask Security Council for military intervention, get that through again. And this time we're going to try to meet with countries and convince them why Denmark is filthy. Oh boy, Denmark's upset now though about the whole ordeal. As I can imagine, they would be. All right, we're going to dump some money into housing again. Let's go big or go home. Let's go 30,000. All right. Uh, we should probably up some of this stuff too. Securities and Exchange Commissions, Internal Affairs Department, Vice Squad, Political Vice Squad. There we go. Meeting request with Belgium, I will accept. Hopefully it's their surrender. There's nothing to say. And when's the UN going to vote on that? Pending resolutions. Okay, so they haven't even decided to take it up yet. Germany is a model country for the G7, according to Gianfranco Mappi, the G7 president who warmly welcomes criminals' actions. Yeah, well, what can I say? I am a just and forgiving God. I need to increase my election year. Malafe length of head of state's term. Okay, I could probably get this through. It's very close. I'm going to put it on a reform. And create the reform. And add some other stuff there too. Um, like we'll go to parliament and change the length of their term. And add that to the same exact one. And they love it. And now they're going to be like, well, you know, I guess we can. Because we want to keep our jobs. And yeah, see. That should definitely go through now. What do you got, my friend? Average sale price. Average purchase price. Okay. Foul. Yeah, because I did sell most of mine. Let's, um. Wait, no. I don't want to buy your foul. I take it all back. When's this going to be deconstructed, by the way? Okay, I guess we don't know. Well, that's fine. I'll just keep an eye on it for when it disappears. I just don't want to forget that I'm doing that. Okay, they decided to proceed with your request for military intervention against Denmark while proposing Resolution 2405. Okay. So let's meet with the UK. Let's meet with the US. Um, I can count on Russia, but let's meet with them anyways. We'll meet with France. And China, because they don't like me. China, China. And if this doesn't go through, maybe we'll try the Netherlands or Belgium. Especially since it seems like I just got more Belgium information there. They got a lot of spending, or a lot of cities not spending. Government waste. Chancellor, the Minister for the Environment, criticizes, uh, criticism really leaves stains. Why? What, what have I done to him?
I really hope this uh, goes through. Okay, let's get uh, the UK to vote. Here's a coffee. No, and I love your country. Very and I want you to vote on this resolution. I understand what you're no, 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 no. You need to vote on it. I oh, my God. Damn it. I'm going to kill you. I swear to God, when I take your country over, I'm putting you in front of a firing squad. Th London's going to be tough. We're going to have to take out France and Belgium and the Netherlands so we at least have a beachfront. Who the f who the hell are you? Who the hell's this guy? President of the United States, 2021. I guess Trump lost to Burke Sh Shuster. Who the heck is this guy supposed to be? Sure. All right. And you're right. It is the most beautiful country in the world. Next time. Oh my God. I understand what. Ah. You're I understand. Ah. Who are you? Who is this guy? We are pro position, president, politician. Oh my God. Germany, Russia, Sedan still. Three pro, zero against, 13 abstains. We can't, guys. We're going to have to go to war with somebody else. Center left. Interesting. A center left candidate. I don't know who that guy is supposed to be. All right, fine. Okay, you won't let me go to war with Denmark. That's fine. Can I go to war with somebody else? Let's see. Oh, we've got proof for financial aid to terrorists. The Netherlands, nuclear weapons test, suspicions, development of nuclear weapons program, financially the terrorist organization is proof. Okay, we're going to try the Netherlands then. Not ideal, but we should be able to make that work. Let's, let's see what happens. The UN's probably like, okay, Germany, you're getting a little out of control here, but let's, let's go for it. Evidence sufficient for san sanctions. Military intervention against the Netherlands. Let's go for it. Um, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I don't. I don't care how you feel about me because of that. This is still going to go through, which is good. I should start abolishing these left-leaning parties, maybe. I could probably completely get rid of one of those parties if I wanted to. No thanks. The funeral? God, they keep raising these budgets here. It never ends. I wonder if I can get the U.S. to leave. We still haven't been able to get them to leave. Maybe this new president will be a little bit more about it. I want to... I want to create a military alliance and get rid of this crap. We'll keep the alliance, but you're not allowed to have any bases. Zero. Not 40. Not 41, but zero. I can't. I can't lower it. They've already got four installed. I can't. I can't. I can't get rid of their bases. We'll have to destroy them. We go to war with the U.S. If we go to war with the U.S., if we make it that far, we'll have to destroy them. Was held and the reform was All right, so the keep me please reform went through, which is good. 
I guess we'll meet with you. All right, that's it. We're going for dissolving the parliament, though. I've had enough. Or do I try to get rid of a par party? I could probably get rid of the progressive front. That would make things certainly easier to get stuff passed. Um, but people would probably lose their minds if I do that. Extreme left independent, the radical left. So the extreme left independent. Number of sympathizers, that's a lot. That's even more though. Free multi-party system, tolerated multi-party system under state control. Allow one political party under state control. Interesting. Oh my God, that would almost go through. Um, mixed and unlimited makes the most sense. Ban a political party and arrest its leader. Ban a political party. Publicly criticize a political party. Publicly congratulate my party. Launch a fundraising campaign. We investment budget available. We're in the negatives for money. Oh, uh, we got to find money. Um, I'm going to meet with the wealthy again. So we can get some more money from them. And maybe I'll have myself. I got a lot of people that want to meet with me. Maybe I'll have myself a uh, fundraiser after that. Raise a little bit of money for a party or something. Forty two point or forty eight point two billion cash surplus, I think it said. The debt should be looking pretty fancy at this point. Still going down. It's gonna take forever. Inflation dropping even more. Scientific discovery, fiber optics. That reminds me, we should be investing in internet and stuff too. Super high speed fiber optic, actually. We got five percent now. And broadband internet, mobile 4G internet, this stuff should be at 100%. There's really no reason why it won't be. But let's see if we do get this up to 7%. And what do we get here? All right. They're gonna, we're going to vote to go to the war with the Netherlands. What do you got? Water supply networks. I've already purchased enough of that. I swear to God. Okay, iron. Yeah, we could use this. Oh, no, they want to purchase it. Well, that don't make a whole lot of sense to me. Because I'm not even meeting, I'm not even coming close to my consumption. That's actually pretty bad, too. I should probably subsidize that industry. But I think we'll leave it alone for now. Let's see if we can get the tanks under our control again. That's kind of like a big deal. Let me at least queue it up and see if it goes through. State involvement as a minority shareholder? Can I at least... But that doesn't really get me what I want. I want it to be under control. Let's try this again. Did it even, did that even go through? Huh, I don't know. I don't think so. Can I put that underneath a taxation? Reform? No. 
Can I go here and see other reforms for industries? So if I go into services and I'm like, oh, I want to subsidize attraction parks. It is there. So how could I control this? Is there services that are already subsidized that could be released? The Postal Service, Railway Transportation, Telecom Operators, TV Channels. Yes, we could maybe get this through if we do this. Add that to the reform. Telecom Operators. Ten billion freed. That might get the the tanks are us passed. Yes, I think it's gonna pass this time, guys. I think we're gonna be able to get this through. Let me slap a few more things on there then, and see if we can get a couple other industries passed, because this might be our only chance to do it until Parliament's like dissolved. So we would need. I also want to have um, so tanks, fighter planes. Okay, so we're going to throw that underneath there. Says it's still going to go through, but I've lost a lot of support already. So what else would I want to get? I think just tanks and fire planes for now. I don't think I'm going to get anything else. Let me see if there's anything. I know I can do naval and stuff. Um helicopters, nuclear submarines, naval construction. It's pretty pricey. Let's uh let's just stick with that. Let's not count our eggs before they hatch. Here is our growth forecast for the end of the year. Basically. Yep. Good morning. Mm, nope. And okay. All right, so I'm going to leave it off here since we're out of time. Uh, just keep an eye on stuff. We're going to kind of move forward here and see what happens with the Netherlands and what happens with the um, taking over those industries. Hopefully that kicks through. And if it does, then we're on to bigger and better things, guys. I'm excited. I think dissolving the parliament's really got to happen at some point here, but we'll just uh, we'll just hang tight. Like I said, maybe we can get rid of the progressive front or something ban some of these political parties. We can get kind of crazy here. With that being said, thank you all for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>